Why are you crying? Mochi definitely loves the smell of this. I mean, it is bone broth, so that makes sense. Good morning. It feels like it has been a very long time since I've done a vlog. I've done like two routine videos back to back. And to be honest, I just miss you guys. As much as I love those videos, there is something really special about more like cozy vlogs, more chatty vlogs. So that's what this is gonna be. I'm taking you on a little day in the life. You can't drink this, it's way too hot. You can smell it. He wants some. It is officially October now. We are in full blown autumn, which makes me so happy. And for those of you who remember my autumn reset video, I said how I wanted to go do um, an unplugged like cabin in the woods detox, digital detox for a few days. We're going tomorrow, it's booked done i'm really really excited so i need to like get work done today um just yeah have a lot to catch up on make sure that i can like actually switch off from work for three days i am vlogging it so like there will be a little bit of screen time but i'm planning to literally just like use my camera that's the only digital screen that i'm gonna be using whilst i'm there okay i haven't tried it yet but <laughs> this is a cup of brown bra bone broth, bone broth, like I've said, and I know having bone broth in the morning, like on an empty stomach, has such, such amazing benefits for your gut. Um, you guys know I love my AG1, so that's my thing I take every morning. Sometimes I kind of want something warm that isn't coffee, so yeah. However, it does smell like there's a reason why Mochi is crying at me. Let's give it a go. Oh, no, that tastes good. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to taste like, like meaty in a bad way, but no, that tastes like so warm. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, that goes down you so nicely as well. Okay, this is such a nice little drink for the morning, especially like now we're getting into colder weather. New little healthy habit I wanted to try. I have my journal here, so I'm going to drink my bone broth and do some journaling. Um, and then I'm going to do something I haven't done in years because I never really thought it would do much for me but honestly my mind has been all over the place like the past couple weeks and that's why it's so nice to come back on here and like catch up with you guys because for those of you who are following the new pod yes I have a podcast then I feel like you're probably all up to date and it's so nice to go on there every week and just talk to you for like 30 minutes to an hour. For those of you guys who have shown me support with Bloom with Becca, it means so much. It's just been received so well. The messages I've received are so cute. The past couple weeks have just been really busy with like learning how to juggle things. Like yesterday was a Sunday and I was editing until half 11, which I never ever do. I've woken up feeling a bit weird. So I'm gonna try and meditate. I don't know. I think that's just what I need this morning. meditation done i wanted to go really simple and start with just like five minutes it sounds really dumb but i think like trying that for 10 minutes would feel too long and i know my mind would wander I proud of myself for giving it a go i think the positive affirmation thing really works i hope you can hear me as well because i live in a ridiculously loud <laughs> area which maybe isn't the best for meditation but it didn't bother me yeah that was so nice i think that is a good little habit that i would love to do just a little bit more like five minutes right at the start of your day
Just quickly gone ready because I've like last minute decided to book a Pilates class. I've not been moving my body that much like over the past few days and I can feel the consequences for sure. Like I struggled to get to sleep last night, stuff like that. A little Pilates class, I feel like that's just an easy way to do sort of more low impact workout. Um, and then I'm gonna try something that I like really do. I feel like when I finish a workout class, I'm so switched on, my brain's like ready to work, but then I have to like travel home, shower, do whatever I need to do around the house. So I've like done all the things I need to take care of this morning, like take mochi out, etc. I'm gonna do my Pilates class and then work just at a coffee shop, like straight after, um, and kind of see, I don't know what that does for my productivity. Lunges, there we go, that's your white spring, that's just where you nice even. But you know the child, you know what we'll to do this time. You're what? At any point, just drop both your knees down, find that half plank, and just hold it as long as... about 100% work for me. I had like some scripting to do. If I'm at home and I have the distractions of home, I can go like make myself a coffee, whatever. It takes me way longer. I felt so productive in that coffee shop. That was such a good morning. I have showered, I'm home from Pilates and since I'm going away tomorrow, I kind of want to look cute. Even though I'm just going to be in a cabin with Will for three days. I don't know. I still want to feel my best. And I realized, I don't know if I've ever filmed a fake tan routine. I've been fake tanning for like 10 years. I know what products I like. I have tested, trialed so many and long tan, hands down my favorite. That's why it's such a dream to be working with them on this next part of the video. They have actually just come out with their new purist collection. I choose to fake tan because I think we all know how harmful UV rays are for our skin. It just is the healthier option. However, like some fake tans, their formulation can be like a little bit drying on the skin. This purist collection allows you to still develop a dark tan within just a few minutes. However, this is formulated with 97% certified organic and naturally derived ingredients. So when I know I'm gonna fake tan, I will always try to give myself like a 24 hour break between prepping my skin and actually applying the fake tan. So yesterday I actually used their deluxe tan remover. This works incredibly well on those stubborn little patches of tan that don't wanna go. So I used it yesterday Today I had a bath, I exfoliated just using their tan removing and skin polishing glove and as you can see I'll insert a clip as well so you can see a little better. This is my before. Okay now we apply so I start with my legs and just kind of work my way up. A little tip I've always had is to moisturize your dry parts so I'll concentrate on like my elbows, maybe my ankles, and then just work it in. I go in circular motions. Loving Tans products give off the most natural olive color. I also love how you have this tinted guide, so it makes it really easy to apply. You're less likely to sort of make it streaky. Something else that stands out to me about this product is I used to be someone who always fake tanned overnight. I would sleep with my tan on, but because this dries so quick, and then once it's dry, it is so comfortable to just wear go about your day, especially since I'm only gonna have this on for two hours. And then here I am, looking all bronzed. I love it, it's just like an instant glow up. However, yes, my face no longer matches my body. So what I love about Loving Tan's face tanning serum, this does not irritate my skin. It doesn't like cling to dry patches. I'll just apply this on my face. There you go, it looks like I have literally just come back from the holiday, which I love. That's the look we're going for. And also look how adorable this little gua sha is. I'm trying to be more consistent with using a gua sha to get the sculpted look. And if you guys want to get your hands on this beautiful little gua sha, use my code PURISTBECCA. You can get a free gua sha with any purchase from the Purist collection. So that's PURISTBECCA. I'll have it in the description bar, by the way, along with the link. So try them out. I have been loving this tanning routine. It's completely changed the game for me. I'm gonna insert some clips of how I'm looking tomorrow. And then tomorrow, this is my little tip of how I like upkeep my tan. I use this lotion. I'll apply it like after the shower, kind of like a moisturizer. Insert a clip now of how my tan is looking on day three. I'm just gonna get dressed now and actually go about my day. And then I'm gonna wash it off in a couple hours. A huge, huge thank you to Loving Tan for sponsoring this part of the video.
We're in Notting Hill, one of my favorite parts of London. I just wanted to come work in a coffee shop. I wanna look at the shops. Have a nice afternoon. worked in girls again which helps me concentrate I had like some podcast I to you then I went over to the famous Notting Hill bookshop now I'm gonna go shopping just for a few bits for Unplugged I had to come home because I actually have a meeting in like half an hour just a meeting for Amazon influencers is it Prime Day's coming up? Or maybe it's linked to Black Friday, I can't remember, but something to do with that, so I have a meeting. I popped into Westfield on the way home, because like I said, I wanted to pick up some bits for tomorrow, but honestly, like, I couldn't really find anything. I was kind of debating getting wellies, because I just feel like that's the time you wear wellies, right? And I don't actually own a pair. But the thing is, like, you can buy, what's that fancy brand again? Pop it here, the one I'm thinking of, that like, those are, when I think of wellies, I think of that brand. Um, and they're like a hundred pounds or whatever and I never wear wellies. So I was like, oh, do I really need to buy some? I actually didn't like get that much in the end. That's something really exciting. I'll talk about that in a second. But I popped into Uniqlo because I knew for sure I wanted a long sleeve, super plain but like nice um, top. This feels so nice. Uniqlo are so, so good for basics. I know everyone's heard of like the Uniqlo bag. I have had the black one for months and it's like the bag I reach for every day. However, I'm a wonderful daughter and when I was in Edinburgh, my mum wanted the same bag. But in Edinburgh, I'm pretty sure they don't have a Uniqlo. So I just gave her mine. I thought, why not like go with a different colour? And then there's like a Japanese Asian supermarket in Westfield. And every time I go to Westfield, I like, I can't not go in. I have seen these all over TikTok. I swear that sentence comes out my mouth all the time. Um, but these are the mango pancakes and I have not seen them for ages. I feel like they started blowing up on TikTok a few months ago. So they were like sold out everywhere, but they had them today. So I thought, why not give them a go? I honestly don't know if I'm gonna like these, but I'm just so curious to try them. I don't know if it's just filled with cream because that does not sound, I don't know. I'm gonna pop them in the fridge now and I'm gonna be having them for dessert after dinner. Is that all I got? Oh, I also went into Sephora and just picked up the Refai Lip Sculpt in Taupe. This is my go-to lip color. Hi, how are you? Oh, hello. Good. How are you? Good. Sorry, I'm running a few minutes late. Don't um, worry. How was your I just finished my meeting. It was like quite a quick one. However, there's proper thunder and lightning <gasps> happening right now. I know. <laughs> And now you're gonna hear it. I've just been prepping dinner. I was also prepping myself for tomorrow and I just shrunk my favorite jumper. So I can't lie, I'm actually really sad because I'm an idiot and I just don't know how to addle. I actually had a super, super exciting package arrive. What do we have in here? It's so tiny. I've like never considered getting a drone before, but I thought for the kind of video I want to film on we're in this cabin, it would be perfect. Ooh! Oh, it's very cute. 
These went so viral on TikTok and it's my first time like seeing them in the shop. I don't know if I'm gonna like this because- It looks like a burrito. It really does. But if it's just stuff with cream, then I don't think I'm gonna like Ooh, it. Oh, I'll stuff you with cream. It's a little parcel. It's very cute. <laughs> oh my God, that's creamy. It is very naughty. Oh, there's the mango. Yeah, mango, nice. Mm, look at that. that. And there's you a like chunk it? of fruit. Mm, mate, this is good. But like, I don't like profiteroles. Yeah. You know? I love creamy, like, um, pastry kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah not, not my- Not pastry, but- Not my kind of thing. 10 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I think we're gonna watch some TV. I'm gonna work out how my drone works. A drone's so freaking easy to break. I'm actually really scared. I was planning to pack for tomorrow, but it's now 11 p.m. and I just feel a little bit stressed. I have a lot to finish up, a lot to edit. Tomorrow morning before we go, check-in isn't until like three, so that's good. Just feeling a smidge behind, so I'm gonna wake up like 6 a.m. just to go to my desk, which I hate doing, because like it's not very good for you, but I have been using um, the Inky List plumping lip balm. It was actually my friend Sophie who told me about this. I've been really loving it. This is the first like lip plumping product I've ever used that doesn't actually like tingle or burn your lips or anything. And you're supposed to see a difference after like two weeks. But yeah, thought I would just share. I'm gonna end this video here because I am now so sleepy. But yeah, it was nice to catch up with you guys again. I really did miss talking to the camera, but at the same time, I haven't because I, I've felt that kind of satisfaction from doing my podcast and the podcast, the whole idea behind it and what I've been doing so far is it is just a lot more raw, the chats I have on there, like, I don't know, it's not that I can't come on here and be myself, but I feel like on here people expect way more, I feel like using the word cinematic is very wanky. <laughs> But like more cinematic edited vlogs, right? Yeah, it's just been very refreshing and honestly needed for me to have that space where I'm not like overthinking everything too much um, or being too perfectionisty about it. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I love you guys so, so much. And thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. I will see you guys in the next one, which will hopefully be my little digital detox vlog so you guys can know how that goes but yeah sending all my love